Hey there guys, welcome back, it's Arrow Dragon, and I'm glad to be back for this video and hopefully a couple of other videos as well. And what I mean by that is because, well, I will be gone for probably another week or so because, you know, family's coming to visit, it's the busy summer months, and I won't have any free time to upload any videos, so I'll try my best to post up maybe one or two here and there. Um, but I am looking forward to open some new products that are coming out, such as the Yu-Gi-Oh! Dark Neostorm Special Edition boxes. Uh, we got Pokemon stuff. I still haven't gotten any of the Detective Pikachu besides the case files. Um, so I will be trying to get, um, you know, more of the Pokemon Detective Pikachu stuff. Um, but yeah, let's crack into these mystery cubes, I would like to call them, uh, from Target. And they are $14.99 each. So let's crack right into them. Um, I've gone ahead and used my handy nanny scissors to cut off the, uh, what is it? I guess you can say sticker. It's, well, yeah, I guess it's a sticker. Uh, so hopefully this comes right off and it's not so annoying. Just gotta make sure. Because it's kind of hard to take out. So, <laughs> let's see here. Well, that comes just right off, right? So, there we go. Alright, so we're supposed to get two packs or and four duels packs. So, let's see. We got a Pendulum Evolution. Alright, we have a 2018 Megaton Mega Pack. Oh, is this what I think it is? Mega, or not Mega Packs, but Duelist Saga Packs. Whoa. Three of these are already fifteen dollars, and that's in a mini box. So we got four of these. Wow, that's crazy. Uh, so basically, these packs only these three paid for this cube. That's insane. Wow, I found a really good cube. All right. Um. Let's look at the 20 random cards. Uh, looks like they gave us some Megaton promo cards, I believe. So we got the uh, Jaden one. We got the Elemental Hero Nebula Neos. Oh, hey, some, something different. We got Blaze Phoenix, the Burning Bombardment Bird. I think this card is either limited or banned or something like that. Can't quite remember. And then we got some random cards that we'll go through. So I think these are three rares. We have Gotham Second Call. A Morphage Envy and Profound Pal Trump Witch. All right, so those are three rares. Let's check out for the commons. Flameville Fire Dog. Uh, let's see what else we have. Miraculous Ascent, Paleozoic, Marella, Link's Lair, Molten Destruction, and it has the Magic card on there because that's a very old card. Oh, Baba Boo, not bad. We got Super Heavy Summer card. Oops. We got Cypher Spectrum. And yeah, flip these around. What else do we have? We got the FA Hang On Mock. Uh, we got the Spring Goose, Crusader Reclusia. That's actually pretty good. Terrifying Taller of Torment, Barrier Resonator, Iron Chain Snake. So some Fighties throwback. Toon Alligator. That's from uh, Speed Duel. All right. Zero Extra Link, Defect Compiler, Column Switch, and FA Motorthrome Transport. So that's all the random cards, which isn't too bad. And Correct me if I'm wrong, but I think this card is like either limited or banned. Um, but yeah, it's using OTKs or was used in OTKs and it's really broken. Take three rares. So let's go in this order. Let's go in the Mega 10 packs and save the dual saga packs for last. We are guaranteed a hollow in every pack over here. And we're guaranteed four or uh, three hollows actually uh, from the Mega 10 packs. So that's really cool already. Uh, beats the uh, deal that this cube gave us. Alright, so first foil, we got a Super Rare Goki the Great Ogre. And Saryu just Skull Dread! Secret Rare! Wow, from one pack, we get a Saryu just Skull Dread Secret Rare. That is insane. Our luck is insane today. I don't really know. And Trickstar Candina. That's actually pretty good. Trickstars are actually going back up in price. So, very good. We get a reprint of that. Alter Guys Camouflage for the rare. And uh, let's see here. The rest of the uh, comments, which we won't really 
look at. But if I could uh, just put that there, separate some of the uh, commons, rares, and foils. But wow, what an epic first pack there! Sorry, just Goldred and Trickstar Candina, not bad at all. So we got a uh, Pendulum Evolution pack, I believe. Some of the spellcasters uh, that are for the um, um, pendulum uh, structure decks or uh, something like that. The cards that they use. I think those are pretty good in here. Uh, what else? Zephra, um, Oracle of the Zephra or something. It's a field spell, I believe. Uh, it's been a while since the last open the pack, so I don't remember uh, much from the set. But we do have a Time Star Magician for an Ultra Rare Star Pendulum Graph. Pretty good. Guiding Ariande, uh, Counter Fairies. Odd-Eyes Vortex Dragon, alright, nice reprint that we got from this set, and Metaphil's Crimson Knight, alright, pretty decent pack, and let's go into Dula Saga, I mean, I can't really find these anywhere unless you look on eBay or Amazon, uh, they are uh, roughly around 15 to $20, and we are starting off with Mask Hero Dark Law, wow, beautiful, ultra rare, um, I'm a very big fan of these, um, like, I don't know if you call it like Parallel Ultra, or it's just an alternate Ultra Rare that came out for just a Duelist Saga. Um, I mean, a lot of people don't really like it, but for me, man, I love it. So, Mascara Dark Law, Jinzo, oh, wow, throwback. What else are we going to get? We got Celestial Double Star Shaman, alright, this card was actually hyped at one point. Um, so I'll put it over here. Contract with Don Thousand. I think this card was, uh, what was it used for? I think like Time Lords in an OCG deck list. And number 28, Titanic Moth. Alright. So, uh, pretty cool. Got Jinzo and Mastro Dark Law. And since we're on the topic of Duel Saga, I really wish for them to make a uh, Duel Saga version 2. And with that, they have like a new rarity for secret rares. And ooh, we're starting off good again. We got Castell the Sky Blaster Musketeer. Very cool. Future Fusion. Oh, I think this is the uh, updated um, text. So let's see here. Let's see here. Uh, yeah. And target with this card. Yep, first name I face. So that's like the first. Um, part that they changed where you don't actually send the uh, materials when you play this card but you have to wait a turn all right yeah future fusion nice guard penguin halfway to forever and the last card is number 28 titanic moth again all right let's speed things up a little bit oh dandelion unfortunately banned token generator a hero lives hey that's really good Ultra Rare, Wandering King Wildwind, White Veil, and Synchro Call. Alright. For some reason, I feel like the first two cards are actually like reprint cards. And then the rest are like... I don't know. Not sure. Well, I guess that didn't turn out <laughs> to be what uh, I meant there. But Neo Spatian Grand Mole. Alright. Wow, that is super shiny. Uh, Doom Caliber Knight. Hey, I remember this card being a prize card. Saber Shark. Clashing Souls. And Silent Angler. Alright. So, for the first cube, pretty insane. We got a bunch of foils. I was not expecting that. We got a Saryuja Skull Dread. I wonder what the other cube can, you know, maybe top with. But, let's open it and see what's inside. Alright, so we got a Pendulum Evolution again. Oh man, is it the same? We got 2018 Megaton and oh man, four Duelist packs. Of, um, not Duelist packs, but the uh, packs for Duelist Saga. There we go. And for our 20 cards, what do we have here again? We got Arcana Extra Joker. Alright. Another Blaze Phoenix. Man, I feel like they just take these out of the, um, what is it, the, was it, Premium Collection 10? Yeah, Premium Collection 10 1. Alright, so we've got two of those now. And I'll try to separate the foils. Um, 
So we know, and what do we have? Tenacity of the Monarchs, Super Anti Kaiju War Machine Mega Dolgrand, and another one, uh, Tenacity of the Monarchs. All right, so <laughs> doubled up on that. That's fine. All right, so we got Mario of the Nordic Alifar from Legendary Collection 5Ds. Pretty cool. Put these around. And you got some Metaphysics cards, Pair Plant, Center Regression, Red Screen, some Star Trek Blast. That's old. Oh, FA City Grand Prix. We got Swords of Revealing Light. Oh, we got another rare. That's not guaranteed. Uh, number C43, High Manipulator of Chaos. All right. Uh, what do you have? Ancient Gear Hunting Hound. Uh, let's see what else we have. Psychic Ace, Ritual Beast Return, Shield Handler, Goki Heal Ogre, uh, Magio Shalion, Zephropath, Paradragon, and look, it's another uh, Speedo card. So I guess they throw in a random Speedo card in each cube. Looks like it. Got Mar uh, Artifact, Molnir. Alright. So let's crack into whatever pack was here first. Uh, Random Evolution. Uh, I mean, we're basically opening the same packs again, but see what cards will come in this cube. We'll top the other one. We got Black Fang Magician, Harmonizing Magician, not bad. Master Pendulum of Draco Slayer, Echo Oscillation, and Metaphors Adamant. Alright, I mean, we did end on a Metaphors card in the last pack, too. For, uh, what is it? The uh, Pendulum Evolution. Alright, so Mega Ten Pack. Oh, Disciples of the True Draco Phoenix. Alright, for our first foil, we have Ultra Guys Protocol. Alright. And for Secret Rare, Evilly Matched. No friggin' way. We actually pulled an Evilly Matched Secret Rare. And it's not as expensive because of the reprint and Duel of Saga, but getting a Secret Rare Evilly Matched. Uh, back then when this Megaton came out would have been insane like the pull ratios for this were like crazy so from two Megaton packs we got two of the best cards out from the set besides Borlo Dragon and some other cards so that is insane evenly matched wow alright cool and we got Alter Guys and Meliseek cool 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 for the rare we got World Legacy World Chalice and treasure panda uh oh we got end of the world which is not supposed to exist in the set but konami's like hey let's give you a reprint so there we go evenly matched that is insane all right i'm gonna put that here in this pile maybe i should take out uh, i think i did um the good stuff so i'll make a, a good pile of the good foils put it over there but let's jump into the four packs of Duel Saga. Uh, this is insane. The, the deals, the amount of what I paid, uh, these three packs. I mean, these cubes would be like $40 per cube uh, if it was retail. And we got Royal Decree. Wow, starting right off the bat. That's actually a very good card. Mizuki Ultra Rare. Nice. And hello, number 20, Titanic Moth. Are you following me around? Uh... But I pulled three copies, so that's a playset. Got Double Fin Shark and White Veil. Alright. Next pack. Ooh, we got Break Control. I think this is the uh, Errata effect. So it has to be a normal summon or set monster. It can't be a special summon. So, pretty good still. And we got Tour Guide from the Underworld. Alright. Ultra Rare, we got Necroid Synchro, Halfway to Forever again, and Diamond Dust. Alright, two more packs, two more packs to go. Oh, we're starting off with Dark Magician, the classic Dark Magician. And what do we have? Evil Zorlagia, hey, dinosaurs, you know, are back. Synchro Call, Fallen Paradise for the uh, Sacred Beast. And full armor black ray lancer. I thought this card was really cool when it came out in Zexel. Um, basically, black ray lancer leveling up. Very cool. And for the last pack, um, from what I noticed, the first two cards of these packs were like decent cards, and the rest of the th three cards were 
decent cards. Uh, well, not as good. Let's put it that way. So I'm going to do like a little pack trick and see what we get. So we got double fin shark. All right, pretty decent. Uh, white veil, we got you a couple times. Oh, Vision Hero Vion. That is also very good. Um, okay, uh, prove me wrong, pack. So Vision Hero Vion. Nice. Remember this card used to be like $18? <laughs> yeah. Imperial Order. Oh, wow. Uh, as you guys can tell, the background is not holographic, but the person is. And the spear flags. Very cool. Very cool. And for the last card, Dark Arm Dragon. Oh, man. Throwbacks. Throwbacks. Alright, so. Let's do a grand recap. Wow, what an opening this was. Like, this was insane. $40 at least of value in those cubes uh, for retail price. And I paid $15 for each. That is insane. I'm glad I stopped by Target. Yeah, so just a little, um, you know, scan through all these. Evilly matched, man. Oh my gosh. Sorry, you just gold dread. Like, from the Mega 10 packs, what are the chances? That's insane. But yeah, we got Jinzo and Mascaro Dark Wall. That's also very good. So I spent 30 and I basically got almost $80 worth of packs and cards. And well, from the opening though, I mean, I wouldn't get that much. But man, the deal from these cubes. If you guys can find them, try your luck, buy them. You could probably peek through the little window. I just randomly grabbed one. I was like, oh, cool, Mega 10 pack picked it up but i never expected that i would find duelist saga packs but hey guys with further ado this is arrow dragon and i'm signing out